Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So today is another kit video. Yep, yet another kit video. I feel as though the past few weeks I've only been doing kits and posters here. Uh, the reason being I think is because they're more relaxed and they're um, easier for me to, to, to do. I don't have to spend so much time researching. Um, but I do miss the old types of videos really. I haven't done one for a few weeks. You know the uh, ones about sensors and whatever else. Anyway, uh, I've got I'll do one of those whenever I can, whenever I've got more time. Um, so what is this? It's a, it looks like a rotary, um, well, LED thing. I don't really know. Um, but whatever it is, let's let's um, let's get on with it. So to start with, we've got any five five five, which is a timing chip which obviously goes in there like that I'll just zoom in actually a bit better view isn't it so that's a timing chip and uh, I solder that in to start with just thinking where are my snips are oh, here they are, I've got my snips this time in the previous video I didn't did I anyway um, so <coughs> let's get started Is it hot enough? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, these kit videos are quite nice to do in a way. They don't interest me as much. I suppose they're a little bit boring really, but like I said in the uh, previous kit video, they're good for people who want to chill out and just watch stuff I suppose. Well, for me they're okay because they, um, they're not very taxing. So... <coughs> I suppose they have their place. Right, CD4017, and what is that? I don't know what that is. CD4017. So let's have a look at this CD4017B um, and find out what it is. So it says here CMOS counter divider, and um, it says 10 decoded outputs. 10 decoded outputs, okay. So, uh, what does it say? These counters are advanced. One counts as a positive clock signal transition if the clock inhibit signal is low. Blah, 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 blah. A, re a high reset signal clears the counter to its zero count. So it's high speed operation. Blah, blah, blah. Carry out signal completes one cycle every 10 clock input cycles. Or every eight o'clock in that one. Yeah, so it's basically a, a counter. Um, <clears throat> so it seems to be counting something. Now I think what it's doing is it's counting something random in order to get uh, a random number between one to ten. At least that's what I think it's doing. Um, yeah. So there we go. Oh, pain. There we go, it's in. <coughs> so let's solder that in next. Yeah, so a rotary kit. I suppose they are, they are handy to have in my box because if I don't have the time or, well, or the motivation really to do one of the research type videos or tutorial type videos, these these come in handy because they're easier to do and they're they're quicker to edit as well, which I understand now that that's why a lot of the main YouTubers tend to do quite a lot of them. You can just um you can just chill out and um well, save time on research. Save time editing and just chill out. <coughs> I'll be honest though, it's not really my, my sort of thing. It's not it's probably not something that I'd personally watch, you know, just somebody just um soldering a kit. To me I suppose that's sounds a bit boring, but but whatever, I mean I suppose that's up to people to decide what they want to do. But having said that I know that people do like them, so 
Well, well, you like them, I suppose I'm happy to do them. So this particular one I got from China. Well, I got pretty much everything from China, as you know. But these things are usually a pound each or something silly like that. <coughs> Sometimes even less. So what's this here? S9013. That's um, a general purpose transistor from Unbrightly. And, and you can get, is it 9014, which is the PNP version. So this is the NPN version. If I remember rightly, I could be wrong. So, a transistor either amplifies or uh, switches. So I'm not exactly sure which function it's doing here. Well, a good, I could take a guess that it's switching because at the moment I don't see any reason why anything would need to be amplified. Well, I could be wrong. If you're watching this and you know exactly what it's doing, then let me know. Let's <coughs> cut those off. So uh, what's next? We've got a 10K resistor and two 470s. So <coughs> oh, I've got four resistors here. What's the other one for? I don't know. But this one, the code is brown, black, brown, which means 101, which is 100. So that's 100 ohm. 100 ohm, so that can go in there. 100 ohm. The next one is brown, black, orange, which is um, uh, 1, 0, 3. Because red would be 2, I think. 1, 0, 3. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10k. <coughs> so 10k will go in there. So this 470, uh, what do I expect for 470? Is it yellow something, something, something? I don't know what 7 is, and 0 will be uh, black. So it should be uh, yellow something black, maybe? Ah, it's yellow something yellow. Oh yeah, because it's 470k. So in other words, there's four zeros yeah so it's correct right so yellow purple yellow in there <coughs> and the next one is of course the same because it's 470k again <coughs> and the apparently that band you see the gold band Apparently that's to do with um, tolerance, and I'm not exactly sure what gold means, but yeah, something to do with tolerance. Probably, I think the standard is about 5% or something like that. Right, here we go. Well, there's, there are big pads for these resistors for some reason. Okay. Oh, there's one there that I've forgotten about. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so what else is there to talk about? Right. Yeah. Uh, one of the one of the reasons why I'm well, I won't say I'm struggling with videos, but one of the reasons why I'm maybe opting for these easier videos recently is because I'm building an extension on the side of the house, and because I'm doing it myself, it's quite time consuming and. And there's other stuff going on as well, you know, work-wise and whatever else. <coughs> so I guess I'm doing a lot of stuff. Right, next we've got a capacitor. And what have we got here? We've got two electrolytics. Um, and the, is that called crosshatch or something? That, that pattern? I believe that is ground. Yeah, I believe that's ground. So there's that one. All right, hang on a minute. What have we got here now? We've got 103, <coughs> which is this one. 
So what's happening here? We've got our uh, right hang on. We've got one microfarad. Yeah, the one microfarad must go there because there's nothing nothing else, no other space for one microfarad. And this one is forty seven microfarad, yeah, which will go there. So forty seven microfarad in there like that. It's quite a there we go. <coughs> Push this in as well. And there we go. And I guess we'll solder these in as well. 